So this is the problem number first, in which we have to find out the ratio of energy E1 and E2. Let's see the problem. If E1 is the energy of electron in the lowest energy state of one dimensional potential box of length A. And E2 is the energy of electron in the energy state just above the lowest state of the three dimensional cubical box of side twice A. And we have to find out the ratio of E1 by E2. Okay, E1, E2. Uh, ratio we find the ratio of E1 by E2. Okay, so in that problem, first we know uh, this is E1 is the energy of the electron in one dimensional box, and here E2 is the energy of electron in three dimension box we know the standard formula for energy of the particle energy of a pre uh, particle uh, electron in 1d box e1 for ground state lowest state means ground state uh, having uh, the uh, box having uh, length is a for that we can write e1 is equals to for a ground state n equals to 1, so we can address pi square h cross square by twice m a square. Okay, this is considered our equation number 1. Okay, now we know that the energy this is for 1D now for 3 dimension box for 3 dimension box. We know the formula for the energy E is equals to nx square plus ny square plus nz square pi square h cross square by twice ma square. Okay. Twice ma square. Now for uh, E2 is the energy of electron in the energy state just above the lowest state of the three dimensional cubical box of side twice a okay the side of this cubical box is double of this regular box is a twice a and just above it means that this is a ground state energy level and just above okay just above means it's a, a first excited state of the uh, Three dimension box, and we know the first excited state uh, in the three D box is a degenerate. Okay, so for that, the uh, value of n x, n y, and n z is uh, one, one, two, one, two, one, or one, or one second with n x, one, one, two, one, two, one. 2, 1, 1. Okay, this is a co combination. So we can choose any value, uh, any uh, combination. So let's take one combination and subtract the value of uh, twice in the place of A. So energy of E2 become for that. This is a uh, for this combination is for uh, energy E2. Therefore, a energy E2 can be written as if you put this first combination 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square ok pi square h cross square by twice m into twice a whole square so our energy become e2 is equals to 1 plus 1 plus 4 it's a 6 pi square h cross square by twice m into 4a square Okay, or it can be written as 6 pi square h cross square by 4 into twice m a square. Okay, or it can be written as e2 is equals to 3 by 2 pi square h cross square by twice m a square. 
consider this equation for now if we divide therefore if we divide equation 1 by 2 we get e1 by e2 is equals to e1 by e2 is equals to see here pi square h cross square by twice ma square divided by 3 by 2 pi square h cross square by twice ma square so this term totally get cancelled so e1 by e2 is equals to we got an answer 2 by 3 so the option b is correct so in that way this problem we can solve okay so this is problem number second let's see if e1 is the energy of electron in the six fold degenerate energy state 1 to 3 in the cubical potential box of site A and E2 is the energy of a particle e, E2 is the energy of a particle of mass twice that of electron in a second non degenerate energy state of site A by D find E2 minus E1 and we have given the four option and we choose the correct option among this four option by solving this problem so first we write what we have to given in the problem so this is a three dimension cubical box problem in which two energies are given the energy E1 for 6 fold six fold degenerate energy state 1, 2, 3 Having sight cubical box, we say as a 3D box, having sight is A. So our situation become like that. This is a let's suppose this is a three-dimensional box, having sight is A. Okay. This is for energy E1. Now for energy E2, this we are, we are given that. Uh, energy E2 is a, uh, E2 is an energy of a particle of mass. So for that energy, it's a non-degenerate. E2 is an energy of a particle of mass twice that of electron in the second non-degenerate. In the cubical box, second non-degenerate energy state. So the, we uh, see in this diagram, this is a second non-degenerate energy state. For that, the energy state of value is value 2, 2, 2. Okay. But in that case, the mass of electron, mass of electron is twice, is twice that of mass of electron in the previous case and the side of the box is a by d as compared to the previous case so we have this two case in the first case we have given the energy e1 is for the six fold degenerate energy state having value 1 2 3 and the side is a and in the second case we have given the energy e2 in non degenerate energy state 2 to 2, 2 having value 2 to 2, 2 and mass is twice m and the side is a by 2 okay and we find the energy e2 minus e1 okay so first we know that energy in 3d box 
imagine for the cubical box e is equals to n x square plus n y square plus n z square into pi square h cross square by twice m a square. Therefore, for case number one, energy e one or energy e one, we have to we have the value for n x and y and z. If we put the value of n x and y and z is one square plus two square plus three square pi square h cross square by twice m side is a. So we put here a. Okay. So we get a value e one is equals to one plus four plus nine. One plus four plus nine means it's a 14, 14 pi square h cross square by twice m a square. Okay, 4 plus 9, uh, 13 plus 1. Okay, 14. So consider the equation number one. Now for second case, it's a non-degenerate energy state. It's a second. See here, second, second non-degenerate energy state. Energy state. And for the second non-degenerate energy state, we have the value of n x and y is equal to two, two, two. So for case number two here, we put two square plus two square plus two square, plus two square into pi square h cross square by two. Mass is twice m, and side is a by two. Now we solve this. E E two, so E two is equals to it's a four plus four plus four, okay? Four plus four plus four, so twelve. Twelve pi square h cross square by two into twice m into a square by four, or twelve pi square h cross square. By two, two into two, so two, and this two goes on the numerator, and two into twelve become a twenty-four, twenty-four, and we get twice m a square. Therefore, e two is equal to twenty-four, twenty-four into pi square h cross square by Twice m a square equation number two. Okay, so in that way we have to find out the value of energy e one and e two in any degenerate or non degenerate energy state in the three dimensional cubical potential box. Remember that, and also remember the diagram. Okay, also remember this energy level diagram. Okay, so now we find e two minus e one is equal to So equation two minus one we get twenty four minus forty is nothing but a ten pi square h cross square by twice m a square. See here our final answer is e two minus e one is equal to ten pi square h cross square by twice m a square. We know the value of h cross is h by twice pi. Okay. So therefore, e two minus e one is equal to ten into pi square h square by put this value of h h cross in that uh, place. So it's h square by four pi square into twice m a square. Okay. So it's a pi square pi square get cancelled. Okay. And we become four into two is eight. So a ten h square. Eight m a square. Okay, so option number B is correct. Okay, so in that way we can solve this problem. So this is our problem number third. The quantum number of energy state for the electron in a cubical box is one, two, three. This is our option is uh, our option is a three fold degenerate energy state. A six-fold degenerate energy state. C, a non-degenerate energy state. D is a none of this. So according to this diagram, please remember this diagram for solving this type of uh, problem in a, a particle in a 3D cubical box. Okay. 
so according to this diagram uh, the combination of this uh, quantum number 1 to 3 here we see it's a six fold degenerate energy level okay so our answer is p the fourth problem the eigenvalue of energy of a particle in a cubical box is 11 into h square by 8 m square the quantum numbers of this state are so once again according to this diagram see here uh, for the energy uh, of uh, 11 h square by 8 m square for that there are more combination so one of the combination is uh, c 1 1 uh, 3 1 1 so for that uh, energy state the combination of this quantum number are 3 1 1 okay now in the problem number fifth the energy of a particle constant to move in a cubical uh, cube of side a is given by you know this is energy okay if nx ny and nz may have the either value of uh, out of 1 2 3 the degree of degeneracy of this energy level is according to this diagram uh, the degeneracy is uh, for that combination 1 2 3 is 6 4 okay see this problem and this problem are same okay for this example number 4 we can also solve we know the energy nx square plus ny square plus nz square pi square uh, sorry we can write h square by 8 ma square okay so we can put the value of nx ny nz from that option one by one first we take option number a and put the value of this quantum number in the nx ny nz and then solve and then check for what option we got we will got a value of 11 s square a by 8 m square so if if you put this option 1 by 1 we get 1 square 1 by 3 no there is 11 if you take this option 2 to 2 we get a 12 no this is 11 if you get this option 3 0 1 3 0 1 is a 9 0 1 total is 9 0 1 is total is 10 but here 11 no now we take this option 3 1 1 3 1 1 9 1 1 yes it's 11 so that the option A is correct. So we can solve this problem in that way or by directly observe from the diagram and click this answer. Okay. So in that way we can solve this uh, problem, uh, the free particle in a three-dimensional cubical box. So thank you very much for watching this video.